hello guys welcome to my channel since this is a new channel i thought i should do a intro introductory like video if such a word exists uh, explaining how i came across coding and stuff like that so if you are interested stay tuned and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you also have something you'd like to share with us uh, share it on the comment sections let's go <laughs> So since the name of this channel is Coding with Spello, I, I thought I should do an introductory video uh, because I would created this channel to document my journey to becoming a full-fledged, 100% equipped, full-stack web developer or mobile, whatever, it's just software engineering in general because I don't want to limit myself to only web development but I'm sure by now you get the gist. So my first... Uh, exposure to software development um was was when i was watching two and a half men and i know this isn't where there's charlie you now when charlie's gone there's this guy i forgot his name by now but he's he's a he was a software developer and he sold his software for millions so he's a millionaire and i liked it and i asked my sister what does what, what he did for a living she told me that he was a software developer Whenever someone asked me around that time, I used to be like, oh, I want to be a software developer. So, you know, I, and I, I was, I, and I, I forgot this up until like later last year, I remembered, oh yeah, at some point uh, I did want to become a software developer. I mean, yeah, a software developer. So fast forward, uh, in grade nine, you had to choose subjects you are going to do in grade 10. And I chose IT, I knew I, because I like computers, I knew I wanted to do something related to computers. Uh, came grade 10 chose IT and then we had in I in IT our friend came grade 10 I chose IT yeah and in grade 10 we learned scratch and a little bit of Delphi and for all those who don't know scratch is scratch for my understanding if if, if I'm wrong I'll put a screenshot somewhere uh, that explain what Scratch is, but it's kind of an introductory software to programming because it's it has a appealing UI of if statement, else statement. It's kind of like it has a puzzle-ish UI. You know, uh, I'll put a screenshot somewhere. So I did that grade ten, grade eleven did Delphi, twelve grade did Delphi. And by the way, guys, I want to make this completely clear. I did not understand a thing about programming. Like I, I won't lie to you. Uh, since I did IT for like three years, there were two parts of it. There was the theory part and the practical part. And the practical part you had to do programming. And out of those three years, uh, and uh, I was just I was just cruising through it. I didn't understand the concepts fully. I didn't understand if statement. Didn't understand else statement. Didn't understand arrays and stuff like that. Mm -mm, that I didn't understand. I was just there. You know, like, ah, and when I finished grade 12, uh, I won't lie to you, I wanted nothing to do programming. I hated it, hated it, despised it. I was like, nah, me and programming, never again, never again. That was until at least uh, I did my high certificate in IT. And in the high certificate in IT, uh, we had, I, I had one module that was basically, uh, that was focused on programming. And another module that was just web development. The module name was just web development. The other one was introduction to programming, and uh, and the web development one's name was web development. So we, there on the web development module we learned about HTML and CSS, you know our inst our instructor or whatever. Uh, you should I, because it's online, you know, live videos. It was it was it Zoom. I think it was Zoom. Yeah, it's probably Zoom. You should attend Zoom meetings and all. We would explain how to understand, go to YouTube, watch YouTube tutorial. That's the only way I learned how to use HTML and CSS. Yeah, and that was it. And on the introduction to programming, we learned about we learned Java again. I crammed, I didn't understand the concept 100%. Just copied that out of the handbook, like, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Didn't understand the concepts like zero percent. That was until 
2020 was was yeah this was until 2020 on 2020 just before the lockdown me and my friend Luyanda shout out to Luyanda shout out to Luyanda uh, had this business idea and we had to create a full and we had to create an e-commerce website for it and I was like you know since since uh, I was able to create a a website for my project on the web development module I think I can be able to create a website so I bought a course on Udemy by Angela full stack bootcamp something like that it's the name of the course then uh you know did uh did the tutorials did you know did the tutorials watch the videos did whatever she did did code alongs and stuff like that and i think it was when i when started learning javascript that's when i realized like nah this thing is not as easy as i thought it would be because i thought like you only needed HTML and css to create a website a e-commerce website and i realized like ah nah you need a database and all that stuff but this was when I actually started understanding the core programming concepts like if statement, functions, uh, all the stuff, passing in parameters to function. That's when I truly, on the on the course, Angela actually taught me. Like she she's the one who actually taught me the basics of programming, the core 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 core, core concepts, and I actually understood for the first time ever. I understood programming concepts. So yeah, I did that, and uh, and at the, at the time I wasn't like, I wasn't I was I, I, I was in love with programming. I, just, I I was indifferent to it. You know, I was just indifferent. Uh, didn't hate it. Didn't love it. It was like eh, you know. I I did I did her course. Uh, did her course. Did her course. Then I started my degree, which is last year. Then for f and I just stopped programming altogether. And by that time, I haven't even built like a full fledged on a website but I stopped programming. I only did like a static website that uses just used HTML and JavaScript. You know, static e commerce like websites that no static e commerce like website that's only use HTML CSS and JavaScript. And I stopped. I don't know why but I just stopped and did school stuff. This was up until September. And by that time I learned like the basics of PHP because on the course that I but then because of the course that I bought on YouTube, they taught us uh, Node.js and for some reason I just didn't like Node.js so I was like, mm, is there another backend language? And I found out about PHP and I was like, okay, I'm going to do PHP. Then I learned the basic of PHP, PHP throughout uh, 2020, 2021. Then I stopped programming, yes. Then I stopped programming. This was until last year, August or September, around there, got back into programming came out gun blazing started learning went back you know we learned some stuff then on december I created a full stack website and i'm currently learning laravel at the moment because i've heard good things up so basically the languages like languages i know right now and i when i say no i don't mean like 100 percent no then my favorite language at the moment is php i love php you know i, I learned basics oop I learned the basics. I know the basics and OOP of PHP. When it comes to JavaScript, I only know the basics. I haven't, I haven't got into the OOP, the OOP part. And when it comes to HTML, CSS, you know, learn the, I know the basics, flex and stuff like that. So that's where I'm at. Which is still learning. I'm, I'm currently learning Laravel, a framework for MVC framework for PHP. Oh yeah, and also I learned. Like web design because I was pretty bad at design, so I bought a course that taught web design and Webflow and Figma. I also know that I know how to design a beautiful, a good websites, not beautiful yet because I've only created like using Webflow, I've only created three or four, I think it's f five. I've created five websites using Webflow, and I, yeah, I've created five websites using Webflow. So now I do know a little bit about design, you know, designing, creating. Uh, be a good website. Uh, secret creating a good website. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because I'll be dropping more content. I'll be sharing my project. We'll be doing, um, trying to we'll be solving a little cool problems, stuff like that. You know, sharing what I've learned so far. That's it.
Don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. I'm out of here.